Well, hello on this Wednesday, the middle of December the 15th, and we are talking about an unprecedented situation. Uh, never before have we had the risk of tornadic activity in Minnesota this late in the season. A uh, strong low pressure system coming out of the Rockies. You can already see a band of clouds, and it will already be moving through and out of Minnesota overnight tonight. A fast moving system. Snow for northwestern Minnesota and the potential for severe weather here and high winds for everybody separate from the severe weather, uh, a very tight pressure gradient uh, sucking in air from all directions. So everything in brown, huge chunk of the country uh, experiencing 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts again, separate from any thunderstorm activity. And a very bizarre situation yesterday where we had a severe weather risk overlapped with snow cover still. Of course, we lost a lot of snow cover overnight, but uh, here's the situation. Moderate risk of severe weather, which is very high. That's about as high as it gets here even in the summer. Again, unheard of in the winter. And a tornado risk, Iowa into southeastern Minnesota, and a very high risk of severe winds from Iowa into southeastern Minnesota. The Twin Cities on the edge of all of these. Now, we've talked about this the last couple of days. The latest confirmed tornado in Minnesota is November 16th, 1931. So we have never had a tornado in any of the winter months of December, January, or February. So if we do see a tornado develop today, it would be completely off the charts type of a record. Weather Service tweeted this out yesterday. In fact, uh, the last time we had any risk of even severe weather, 2001, December 5th, there was a slight risk of severe weather. So we have a moderate risk today. It's the 15th of December. Just absolutely nuts and potentially a dangerous situation. So storms are going to develop initially in Nebraska early this afternoon. That line will continue across Iowa. Uh, this is through the late afternoon and then the evening hours get to the Twin Cities. Of course, the sunset is early, uh, 4.32 today, uh, and these are going to come well after that. In fact, the timing looks to be about between 7 and 9 o'clock in the Twin Cities. So we'll loop this again. You can see those storms starting in southwestern Minnesota through the metro uh, between 7 and 9. And then note the snow on the back side of this. There is going to be some snow in northern and western Minnesota. All the parameters coming together for a severe weather outbreak. Again, things we look at in the summer, but we're going to have high energy potential for storms. Lots of shear with this system, meaning very fast moving winds aloft. And that's going to help to create a very high supercell index and even the significant tornado parameters are high across southeastern Minnesota. So basically, southeastern Minnesota, the southeastern quarter of the state into southwestern Wisconsin, highest risk of severe winds from storms. And that does include the metro really on the uh, northern edge of that. But then overnight, behind the storms, winds are going to howl out of the west as the system passes us. And we're talking about near 60 mile per hour wind gusts pretty much for everybody. So this is the Weather Service maximum wind gust forecast for a bunch of different towns. And you can see everybody, same boat. The whole southern half, central and southern Minnesota, we all have that risk of overnight gusts of 50 to 60, maybe even 65 miles per hour. Again, that's separate from any of the severe storms that develop. Now, on top of all of this, we're going to break a record high temperature today. 51, the old record set back in 2014. Looks like we'll easily do that with temperatures well into the 50s. Now, this model's a little aggressive, pushes us up to 61. Not out of the question, though. This thing is really sucking in a lot of warm air and moisture. And then note the temperature drop. By 2 a.m., we go from maybe close to 60 for southeastern Minnesota to below freezing. And it is going to be cold and windy through the day tomorrow. Teens settle in for the western part of the state. And that's where they'll see the snow with just the right timing of the cold air with the moisture. So several inches of snow could fall up around Bemidji up through the international border. We'll probably see some flakes here, but I don't think we're going to see accumulation. The ground will be wet and warm and we'll just have a few snow showers. But there is another chance Friday night of some snow, a very light event, but maybe a half inch to as much as an inch in parts of central Minnesota Friday night and overall a cooler pattern. But the models keep backing off the potential for cold next week. Uh, as we go further out, it tries to bring in some aggressive cold and then backs off. So we're talking about some 20s here, which is normal the next several days, but then back maybe above freezing by Monday. So yeah, folks, that uh, white Christmas is definitely in jeopardy here unless we can pull off some snow next week. We've definitely lost a lot and we'll lose more with the rain tonight.